What's going on guys, Vic VB back with another Game Case Arcades video. We are doing it, we are officially looking at Morris's bar top. Take a look. Yes, we are running Street Fighter V on this. So somebody got like my last video mixed up. Yes, people do make hyper spin builds inside bar tops. This is my personal first one ever. I've never done it before. We actually have a PC running inside of this bar top. I'm so used to doing pies. I've never done a bar top hyperspin build. He's gonna be the first one ever to get it. We're gonna soup it up and we're gonna take out the insides. I'm also gonna be making a video about a super like budget beast, I'm gonna call it. This right now is what I would call a budget beast of a system. What do I mean by that? Basically, I'm gonna teach you guys, I'm gonna show you guys the computer that we put inside of this. And when I say budget, I'm talking budget. Talking about a Dell Optiplex running inside of this. Check this out. I'm gonna flip the camera. Again, I want to you know emphasize the budget beast on this one. Check this out right here. We have a regular game room solutions bar top. Mars is custom made artwork by Game Room Solutions, Star Wars themed, and check it out. Again, we have a Dell Optiplex, 7010 to be exact. I5, 16 gigs of RAM, and yes, that is a GTX 1050 Ti giving us the graphics to run Super Street Fighter 5, not super, but to run Super Street Fighter 5. I right now don't have the joysticks connected, but basically we're gonna look at it. We're gonna do a retry. I was just kind of playing it in the background. This is running Street Fighter 5 on high graphics settings. So this is the path of my take a look at this. Unbelievable what a low budget computer could do if you put a good graphics card in it. Currently using the audio from the monitor, 22 inch monitor on this one. Again, high graphics, graphics settings set to high on this. Right now, again, I don't have our buttons hooked up just yet. I am using the keyboard on this. Again, using a Dell Optiplex that I found on Amazon. It is mind blowing stuff, guys. And yes, I will teach you and basically show you what the insides are. Did a little back plate on this, an i5, Windows 10. This is the best part right here. We gutted the computer all together. We took the housing apart. We basically just left the motherboard, our i5, our GTX 1050 Ti. We have our power supply. And underneath the control panel on this, we do have, this actually came with a two terabyte hard drive. And it also gave us a USB extender, check that out. So we do actually have four USB inputs. I'm gonna make it look better right now. This is testing phase. I just wanted to see if the door could close and we might have to modify the door a little bit. Again, you could do, let me lower them. Um, let me exit out of, Sh of Street Fighter V because of the volume, hold on. Just want to show you guys real quick for any of the haters because we do have a couple of haters but it's okay we love the haters let's take a look real quick at our picture quality settings again i let the computer decide this we are on high settings on this plays amazing again a gtx 1050 ti we're going to exit out and we're going to basically just show you the window setup on this so real quick check this out one of the big things when i do the comparison video to the um, laptop base to this. The loading screen alone, check this out. Running smooth. If I'm gonna, like I said, you're gonna see soon a side-by-side -side laptop compared to this. The, like the animation for that, for the laptop is atrocious. It's just slow motion running in low graphics settings. So stay tuned. Again, Street Fighter V running on this bar top. Windows 10 on this. I'm gonna go into the system info because the deal I found on Amazon, and unfortunately it looks like the deal is no longer there, but it's something to keep in mind. Um, I did message the company, and I will include the company. They actually have it here. Let's see if I could show it to you real quick. Tech Refurbs. Again, real quick, a Dell Optiplex 7010 business desktop computer running an i5, 16 gigs of RAM, two terabyte hard drive, and it also came with a DVD like reader. Um, I paid 250, 250 bucks just for the Dell Optiplex part of it. Take a look right here, Windows 10, the amount of memory, 16 gigs, running an i5 on this one. And again, we do have a GTX 
1050 Ti. Um, still trying to learn on my little desktops and all that, but again, there is an actual GTX 1050 Ti in this. 1050 Ti purchased for $180. So, 250 bucks for the computer and 180 bucks for the GTX. We're at 430. The computer alone cost 430, came with two terabyte hard drive, not an SSD drive, but in all honesty, I'm very shocked by this. Just real quick, and again, we are gonna do a comparison video of the laptop compared to a desktop, but hyperspin on this when it loads up, very fast, very smooth, in and out transforms, like it's insane what this thing could do. Once it boots up, again, we have this right here. I could go into the RK Classics. The wheel loads up pretty fast. Got everything here. We're gonna escape out. Again, PC games. This is reading my four terabyte hard drive. Um, so it does have games that's on my drive, but it's not here right now. So example, we got Hitman doing Mortal Kombat on this. Real quick, let's load it up. Grand Theft Auto 5. We also do have Grand Theft Auto 5 on this, obviously. I'm not too sure if I have this set correctly uh, as far as my hyperspin. Let's see. No, I don't. It's looking for my external hard drive on this. But I do have Grand Theft Auto on the actual hard drive. Again, this is why you cannot, it is physically impossible, well, not impossible, but it's very difficult to simply just copy and paste a drive. Very difficult stuff. But again, real quick, just to show you guys, I was playing a little bit. Um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider plays really good on this. I think Grand Theft Auto 5 was running on um, high settings. Again, didn't do the speaker mod yet on this. So you are hearing from the audio from the screen itself. Got a little Grand Theft Auto 5. Again, budget. When I, I, I mean, I've, you could probably build something cheaper. But basically, as far as holding down the system, actually, I took one of the side walls of the desktop. Um, this was not a small form factor computer. It was not. It was a regular like Optiplex. Gutted it out. It was huge. You just got to know how you're doing it. Basically, we just made it fit. We are going to modify the door. I do have to modify the door. This way we got our fans. We're going to add a couple more fans on this. But again, just to give you a quick update, Morris's bar top. Look at this. A bar top. Literally going to be able to play Grand Theft Auto 5. Grand Theft Auto, yes, will be with a Xbox 360 controller or Mars requested for uh, PlayStation controllers. I'm going to have to test that. What's really cool about the Amazon deal on this, they even threw in the Wi-Fi dongle. So we do have the Wi-Fi dongle. Pretty cool. For his setup, we are also going to include and install um, Apex Legends and we're going to install Fortnite. I want to be the first bar top to run Fortnite. Again, just a quick sneak peek as far as Mars's bar top. It's pretty cool. I'm very happy with it. I'm going to make my own personal bar top next for myself. And there you have it, guys. This is going to load up a regular cutscene. I never, I never booted this, so take a look at this. Like, graphics all due to the GTX 1050 Ti. Again, a 1050 Ti. The computer alone also was great the company sent us keyboard and mouse yes the mouse like broke in like shipping but let's be real guys look at this i mean what are we running on this can we load up the settings real quick do do do, -do. graphics settings what are we at i don't think they have um they don't really show oh here we go look at this very high we are running everything very high. Again, I let the computer decide that. Basically, I let the program, I let Grand Theft Auto decide on its own what to run. I mean, this is unbelievable stuff. Again, what you could do with a Dell Optiplex, very surprised, very pleased. And again, guys, this is going to be my first bar top. I'm sorry, I'm talking, rambling and trying to exit this game at the same time. Downloading a lot of stuff this week. Uh, hopefully we could get the new Mortal Kombat when it comes out. We're gonna load up some Soul Calibur. Um, never got into Soul Calibur, but again, uh, biggest things, we are aiming for fighting games on this. We will have Injustice 2 running on this. I will have Mortal Kombat XL running on this, so it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, I wish I could find, there is a Soul Calibur 4 that did have like Yoda versus like Darth Vader 
Um, I don't think they have a PC version of that, unfortunately, but I'll try to find that. Again, I literally just did a fresh install. Basically, again, I did copy my existing hard drive, but there is a lot of coding you have to do. It, it's not a simple copy and paste. I really don't want to move this while the computer's on, but again, basically, again, Mars, if we ever have to fix on it, we could always pull out our dish tray. We could work on the motherboard if we have to. Again, two terabyte hard drive. We even have our sticks here of the RAM, basic RAM. This is not some like curse air. It's not some souped up RAM, nothing too crazy. It is literally stock, a, st a very stock Dell Optiplex running a 1050 Ti. That is it. We just installed the drivers on the 1050 Ti. Here's our DVD writer, DVD reader that it came with it. I'm not gonna put it, it's too bulky. You don't even need it. Be able to sell it to make a little bit money back. But again, we're gonna add a couple of fans. I might have to modify this door. We might have to cut it. Only cause I do want a lot of breathing space for the computer to make sure it does breathe. Again, pretty cool, really quick video. I mean, again, I haven't done a, a video in a while. So I just wanna show you guys our little update. Again, somebody got confused. Yes, people do build bar tops with hyperspin builds. This is my personal ever first one and it will be running uh, six terabytes. So we do have the existing two terabyte hard drive that's in there already. And we're gonna be doing four terabyte external hard drive. I could definitely fill up on games. We're gonna add more GameCube games, more PlayStation games, aiming more towards fighting games. The only one little downside that I know now for sure, um, next time on any other build, um, basically games like Mortal Kombat XL, if you did wanna use the joysticks, you do need an A button config. Um, so that is a little tough in this situation. I'm not gonna be drilling these. I really don't wanna drill these. Let's just load up real quick. A quick game of uh, Soul Calibur. I never got into Soul Calibur. Not really a fan. Well, not that I'm not a fan of it. I never tried it. Let's let this load real quick. Showing you live stuff. I don't wanna even make any cuts. It's a pretty speedy like system. I'm not gonna lie, like for stock, it's really like shocking very surprised by it again 430 bucks you might be able to build something cheaper you might be able to build like you know an uh, a ryzen 3 build but you know for an i5 i haven't loaded up soul caliber so i don't really know how this is going to play out not even too sure what graphic setting we are right now I mean, characters seem okay. Our like heads up display looks insane. Let's see if we could pause real quick. That's the thing. I don't know why they built these games to have different like keyboard mechanics. <laughs> I mean, just real quick, just kind of, I just fell out of the ring. Great. <laughs> but you kind of do see a little bit of like, this might be on medium graphic settings. I might be able to bump it up possibly only because I could see like, you can see his hairline on this one a little bit. You kind of see like the graphics kind of bouncing. But I mean, again, for most of the games that I've played so far, definitely like Street Fighter V. For Street Fighter V to play well was very shocking. And that definitely we're going to be doing a side by side with the laptop edition that I usually do, the cheap $250 laptop. Uh, that really can't even play um, Street Fighter V. But to see this run Street Fighter V. Um, in high graphic settings was very shocking to me only because I don't want to bore you guys just real quick We're gonna load up another graphic intense game, which is shadow of the tomb raider Let's just go. There's a lot of files on this one again shadow of the tomb raider I downloaded the whole thing of tomb raider. So that is in the laptops um, Again uh, right now the next probably series of videos you're gonna see is actual um, Elgato capturing uh, just to show off the hard drive that we have now um, again, this right now is the most graphic intense Tomb Raider of them all. This is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, I do have like the regular one, the game of the year one, back ones, but this is the most recent one. And apparently it is very graphic intense. Benchmark running on this real quick. We're hitting 60 FPS. Again, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Ten fifty Ti stock Dell Optiplex can't overclock a Dell Optiplex. Some people have, might be saying, "Hey, you might be bottlenecking the ten fifty Ti." 
I don't know what that means. I kind of get what it means, but for a regular customer, they really probably won't. We're probably hitting 53 on this, 52, dropping a little bit. But we're in the 50 to 60 range, so that's not too bad. Again, really can't complain. I switched for a stock Dell Optiplex running on this. Again, it's just pretty amazing for 430 bucks, a two ter like out the door, two terabytes, 10, uh, uh, Windows 10, 16 gigs of RAM. What was actually funny when I got, here we go, look at this. We're still at 60 FPS. What was actually very funny is that when uh, I booted up the computer, um, the computer was reading 12, um, 12 gigs of RAM. And I was going to call the company. One of the actual RAM sticks fell out. Um, so you do, if you know your computers, I don't know computers like that, but you have to just be careful. You got to watch out. But again, we're really, we're hitting like 60 frames on this. Yep, here we go. So we got some results here real quick. Average frames per second is 58. I mean, you can't really, uh, you can't really knock it. For 430 bucks, again, it says it all here. There we go. Nice little thing. Windows 10. We got our i5. And we got our 1050 Ti running on this. So there you have it, guys. More videos to come. Stay tuned. VicVP Game Case Arcades. Just real quick to show you guys, I turned off the computer because I'm about to go. But I just want to show you something. These wires won't be like this exactly. But real quick, just to show you, closed door, but check this out. We literally just made it past for the antenna, for the Wi-Fi to come out. Again, it does fit. The control panel is closed. It does fit, but I, I, I'm, I, I believe computers need to breathe a little bit. So I might just cut this notch out. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do yet. As far as this fan here, you know, it does kind of cover up that. We could use that as an intake. Probably add a couple, maybe two or three fans just to be safe because it is a computer. We do not want computers to overheat, but it does close. Again, a Dell Optiplex modified to fit this bar top. So we moved it and put it up top here. It was on my desk before. Now it's up here, but check this out. This thing weighs a lot now. <laughs> when you do add a computer, this is not a Raspberry Pi no more. This thing is pretty heavy. I would say it had added at least, I'm not going to BS it, maybe like 15 pounds. Um, we're going to weigh it before we do ship it out. But I can't lie, guys. It did, it did, it did add some weight to it. Um, that's why these are a nightmare to ship. It's very difficult to ship a full bar top just like what you see here. Um, but yeah, we'll see you on the next one.